Hi guys, here is Mr. Finlar, and this is part 17 of my Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Today we are doing the second part of Time Trials, out of 5 so far. And we are doing the second warp room, and we are getting all the relics. Gold ones, that is. And what you need to do in this one is, as always, get all the time boxes, avoid enemies, and if you have luck, try to get an invisibility. It's always a helpful thing to have invisibility. Stupid box. Watch out for this enemy and this wizard here. They can be pain in the ass. That might cut you out and make you lose your mask. This enemy is fairly easy, just jump on it. Now watch out for this frog. Hit the mask and go. And try to avoid that one platform that you can get easily stuck on. Hit that to break all the nitros and go. I could just got gold blood relic because I missed two time boxes. If I had got them, I would have a new record. But fine, whatever. Didn't do it though, so never mind. And after this let's play, like, got 105%, I think I, I'm gonna show you the platinum time, relic times, I'm not sure. If, if it's gonna show platinum relic times, I'm gonna show them for you. Now first thing before you start, shoot that idiot out of your way. And go. Yeah, every time you do a time trial, you're gonna lose all your masks. Try to avoid spinning on those bits. Go away. Try to avoid spinning as much as possible, by the way, because it's gonna lose your time. Lose time for you. That blue box is quite annoying to get. And I just fell through a floor, okay. Fine, whatever, let's redo this. That was weird though. But fine, whatever. It's just gonna take a longer time. Oh yeah, as I forgot, save states. To save some time. And yes, yeah, I was saying, try to avoid spinning. Because it's just gonna slow you down. You're down, you down. You're down, it's gonna slow you down. But sometimes you have to do it, like there. And I just got a life, thank you. Thank you very much, I have 99 lives. You bug off. Yeah, as you can see, it's gonna slow you down. is still quite annoying to get. But fine, whatever. Not going to get blood in time because I missed one box. Oh, I did anyway. Fine, whatever. Fine to me. That's, that's fine. That's perfectly fine to me. Fine, whatever. I'm not complaining. Stop. 
stop dancing. And uh, let's go to level 6, Hawk Ride. Fairly easy to get Relic on. Unless you're not that good at racing levels. This is actually a very tricky one to get um, Baton Relic. But it's fairly easy, because if you are doing a speed runs, you will automatically try to do this thing. When you keep on doing that, this thing. You're gonna succeed in a speed runs. That's not how you do it though. But I'm gonna go for the Platinum Relic, like it or not. Because I wanna show you how to get Platinum Relics. Because there is a strategy to do that. I bet you can't even hear the music, but I don't care. Yeah, this is what you need to do. Try to avoid the car. Get back on track. Get that one box. Try to get one, get this three box. Keep on turning, and here we go. This is how you do it. Keep on driving. Jump. So, this should be a platinum time. And it is second best. <laughs> Six point oh six seconds. That's how easy this is. So basically if I did one mistake from now on, if I do one mistake that's automatically a fourth place or something. Because as you can see all my top three th times are like 0.06 like the, it's the difference so if I fail if I do a little mistake then I'm not going to get the name for there but anyway yeah tomb time we need to get both gems but we're not doing it right now Fairly easy. Destroy all the, all these boxes out of your way, because they're just gonna be annoying you. And go. Well, of course, I'm gonna tell what the spell strategy is. Watch out for this crocodile. It can be annoying. Hit both of the boxes. Slit while you're in on oil, as it would be, to get to save some time. You don't need to do that, you can do that either. However you want to do it. Once again, slid on uh, oil to save some time. Hit the mask and then hit the time. Don't go left, it's slower. you can do it right it's a good thing avoid that snake and if you couldn't hear me when there's like that double path don't go to the left because it's slower and I just make a really stupid mistake so let's redo this that's the best thing to do my opinion that is. If you like to do it the other way, then go ahead do it other way. That's the other way you can skip that. 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 Here we go again. double jump because it's gonna slow you down but that's basically the thing you need to do 
don't care about don't mind if you lose some masks during this I lost some time and I'm not gonna get platinum relic cold at least yeah yeah third place time see I haven't got any first place times yet because I need to get platinum relic to get them they're like ultimate times, so I really can't beat them. Level 10, midnight run. Yeah, there's that one on top of all the times. But it's not an it's not a world record, you know. I think the world record for this version is something like 30 even. That's at the start you need to make a choice, go for all or just take the two on one. This bit is fairly easy. This bit isn't. You need to do the perfect jump to get them. By the way, if I'm gonna get a world record time, then this is gonna be an extremely awesome let's play. But I'm not, so never mind. So yeah, I missed one already, so no no world records here today. I missed one box, no world records here. But close. I would have made a new best time if I would have got that one box. You need to be extremely awesome to get Platinum Relic. You need to know the course very well. And you can't slow down. Also, of course, this is easier to get on this version because there isn't that one enemy in front of that one box that I missed. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time when we are doing this area. Starting from this level.